What's up guys, this is Jamie from GSD Productions, and last night me and Nathan were doing a little testing on the server, and it turns out you have to have the Dragon Block C mod installed, and I'm going to show you how to do that, it's actually fairly easy, so all you want to do is have, uh, I just have my Minecraft open, I don't know why, but you just go on Google and type in Dragon Block C, and it should be... This first one here, though, 1.5.2 Forge, and it should be on the Minecraft forum. Just click on it. And I'll also be showing in this video how to get Hamachi and that, where to download it. I forgot to put it in the other video because I'm just that smart. And we just gotta wait for it to load up here. Just scroll down, there should be this is it. And there's downloads right here, or you can just scroll. It's near the middle. <coughs> but you can do it. There's two ways you can do it. You can do it with the auto installer, but you still have to have all these downloaded. But I didn't use this because, I don't know, I didn't feel like downloading more stuff. But to do this, you have to have, I don't know why that pops up. I gotta get rid of that. You gotta have WinRAR. Or 7-zip or something like that. I like WinRAR. You can get it from WinRAR.com. Just type it in and it, you can download it. It's free. Yeah. But you're going to need to download the Minecraft Forge build, which is the first one. So you need to click on that and download it. It'll take you to this thing. Just wait five seconds. It should be right here where the timing is. Then you skip the ad. And it starts downloading. So you need that one. Go back here and get the other two. There's three and all together. You need the Dragon Block C Universal. So we will click on that. And wait five seconds also. Because they just love making you wait here. And then we'll download that. Okay, and then the last one you need the let me get this rid of this. You need the JBRA client version one right here. So you need that. That's the last one you need. Let's wait another five seconds. Canada poker. Oh yeah. So once you have all three of those, you're gonna wanna click here and make a new folder. I already have one, it's just name it DBC or something. And then you can drag these in there. Because it's always handy to have them all in one place. And I already have this in there, so I'm not going to get that in there. And then we'll close this. You're going to want to go for uh, Windows 8, which is I have. There's no start menu here. So, But if you were on Windows 7 or lower, you'd go to start and type in what I'm going to type in here. You'd but since if you're on Windows 8, you gotta go here and do it. You're gonna type in percent app data and percent, and it should come up with all these. You want to click on the dot Minecraft, so you click on that. Then we'll just oh, we'll just drag that there for now, or I'll drag it on that side. So I'll open this up. You want to have that open also. But then you're gonna to want to go to bin, and there's a Minecraft dot jar folder with the Java logo beside it. You're going to want to right click. Oh, I don't know if I did the right one. Right click and then there's open with. And you're going to want to go to Win WinRAR archive which will open up all the files in your Minecraft. I've already downloaded this so I'll show you how to also but I'm not going to put it into mine because I already got it. And then you want to go over here to the DVC folder and you're going to want to do the same with the Minecraft Forge Universal. So you're going to want to open with WinRAR archive. And I'm going to be doing this later on for Nathan also. He has to get this in. He couldn't do it himself. 
and then when you're on here you won't have as much stuff as me but you're going to want to click on the meta inf folder in the minecraft.jar winrar file and you're going to want to delete it i'm not going to right now because that's the one from bbc but you delete that and then you just go in here and you want to control a and drag them all in i'm not going to like i said but you just do that pop up should pop up saying and you just click OK on both of them, and then you, you can close this. You're going to want to go back to the .minecraft. And if you don't have a folder called mods, you just want to make a new one. So right click and new, and then make a new folder and call it mods all in, whoops, all in lower case like this. And then you're going to want to drag in from the DVC the mine block C universal folder and the JBR a client folder into the mods. Like I said, I'm not going to do that because I've got all that in here as you can see. And then once that's in there, you're done. You just exit out of both of these. I'm going to exit out of my Minecraft. And then you're going to want to start up Minecraft. And you come up like this normally and then hit login. And you should get a little pop-up that says FML is setting up. And once that's done, it's set up. It's all good, so you don't have to do it anymore. And the mods are installed. You can even click here and it shows all the mods. There's a lot. There's one, two, three, four, five. There should be five with this mod. And then I have too many items installed also. And then once that's all set up, you're pretty much done with that. And now I'll show you how to get Hamachi set up and that. So we'll go to the internet and go to Google. Just type in Hamachi download, or you can just go on to my last video on YouTube here, which was telling you about the mod and the server. I guess I can get rid of this. Got 12 views on it already, and it should be down here. The what should we call it? But it's this one down here. Oh, is it this one? It might be this one. Well, as long as you get it downloaded, you can use this one also, I guess. It's all it's all the same pretty much. I just use this one because that's the one I originally got. But you can use this one, I guess. Then it's better. I'll leave the link in it. All the links will be in the description also. And then you just download it. I, I'm not going to. Then just pop up and you just make an account and then you hit network and join existing. Network IDs again <coughs> are GZS2 Productions 1 and 2. If they fill up pretty quickly, I will put I will make more of them. So you don't have to worry. But I think my server is going to be a 20 person server so far. And the password for both of them will be 1234. And you hit join. And that's all there is to that. And once that's done, all you have to do again, guys, is leave a comment on this video or the last video with your Minecraft username. And that is because I need to put you in the whitelist. So far, there's only two. And that's me and Nathan. And then once that's done, it should all be good. I'll show you the server here. Get it all set up. And if it did not work, guys, for some reason, you can leave a comment also, and I'll try and help you. And also another way you can do, do it is, before you do anything, is click on Options right here. Before you log in and click Force Update. That will make sure there's nothing on your Minecraft before you do it. If, if like I said, it didn't work before, just do that and it and try it all again and it should work but otherwise when you log in you'll get this little pop up saying hello and then it should be installed and then you'll be able to join our server and you can get all set up in it I'll show you we got again the server address is 25.181.48.11 I'll have that in the description also done and it'll just go on it no one's on because I just started it up but if you ever want to know when the server will be online I will be I'll put it on what on my YouTube or on my Facebook page if you guys have not 
uh, like this, you can go like us so you know when all the stuff is. That is quite loud. Holy, let me turn that down. I didn't think it would be that loud. And then there's a lot of different controls, as you can see. There's like cut all the Kai stuff. I've changed all mine around, so I can't tell you what they originally are, but I'll go into creative here one second. And then the great, good thing about this mod is you don't take fall damage when you have the Saiyan hair on. This is just a little uh, fighting ring I built. These are the new blocks that come in this mod. They cannot be broken unless you're in creative mode. So yeah, this server hasn't really changed much, but it will be probably today because Nathan's coming over. After his exam, he's got one today, and we're going to be setting it all up on his and doing everything else. So hopefully you guys like this, and it helps, and I can see you, everyone on, on the server, and we can play together and whatnot. Yeah, if, you, if anything doesn't work, just message me or leave a comment, and I can help you. So I've done this a lot now, downloading it and putting it on, and it works for me. It works for a lot of people, actually, too. And if I get enough... Uh, Good responses in that of this video. I will do a mod showcase of it. I don't do those ever because I don't really download mods. And I can like maybe do uh, let's plays of this, like because there's a lot of sagas. If you hit J, there's the saga system, and I haven't done it in this one yet. Cybermen, what are they? Kill them, and you might find out. And then you can do all this, all the sagas and that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's, I think, let me see here. Let's go to the Dragon Ball Z one. There's you get these stuff down here. Yeah, there's the Saint, the Cybermen. There's you can fight Raditz, Nappa, Vegeta, and then you go. You can go to Planet, uh, Planet Namek, and there's all these. You can fight uh, Kui, Boria, and Zarbon, and then the Ginyu Force, which is cool. Like all of them, not just the cool ones. Even the gay green guy. And then you can fight Frieza, and he's got all his forms on here, which is hard. I tried it just, like, in creative one day, just on my old world, and I couldn't even beat him in creative. Like, it took forever. And I was throwing splash potions and po poison on him like crazy. I was using a diamond sword, all enchanted, and I could not kill him. It is cool. It is hard, like. But we'll probably be doing all that on this server and, like, going everywhere. But I guess I can show you is go to let's get a spaceship here and use the spaceships I'll go and I think that's how do you do it oh and there's Namek Vegeta well guys because we'll go to Namek I'll show you so we'll start this and the spaceship's cool now because you actually can fly around in it that's one of the new things as you can see oh we're in water But let's hop out. Oh, let's hop out. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, you, you sometimes spawn in water. Let me just get that. So I don't have to spawn. That's one of the crappy things about Namek. There's a lot of water everywhere, but there's also the Dragon Balls here. And then big ones. Let's see if we can find any. Seems to be oh yeah, mushrooms spawn here for some reason. I have no idea why they do. This is, that's like the animal on Namek apparently. My server's being a little laggy this in the mornings, and there's a whole bunch of uh, Frieza's men everywhere. You need to kill those to get more of the things, like to complete the sagas. And once you hit one, it seems like they all attack you. But they are they will not attack you unless. You attack them, which is good. They also have new trees on them. I can't remember what they're called. A J, a J something like that. Oh, oh god, I'm stuck. I got stuck there. I'm looking for Namekians. Seems to be none. What is this? This is Namek. Why are there no Namekians? And then they have little houses too, right? Stupid. Just love, love this. Are you, are you kidding me? I don't know. That's weird. There are no Namekian villages so far. Why? What? This isn't fair. 
a lot of freezes men, so the stuff is spawning. I don't know, it must just be the world. Oh, there we go. They get little houses like this, as you can see. And there's a Namekian right there. Hello, Namekians. Namekian, hello. There's a little Namekians, and you can check their power rating, power and all that, and there's like, it's dark in here, holy crap. But there's, uh, oh, what are those guys called? Oh, dang it, I cannot remember. Oh, the warrior ones, like, like Piccolo, like the original Piccolo and that. And then I guess we'll go to Vegeta. I haven't been there, actually. Uh, this, this, uh, two. So I don't spawn in water. And Namek's sort of green, and I think Vegeta is red. Yeah. Yeah, sort of dirty place. It looks like the Cybermen biomes, and there's a lot of guys here. Gee, these are them. These are all the Sands here. Uh, they're all Nappas. They're all bald Nappas. Holy man. Are they all bald Nappas? I didn't know they were all bald Nappas. There we go. They are too. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's awesome. Oh! No, oh, we found a, a retarded Raditz. Yeah, so there are different guys then. That's good. I thought it was just going to be Nappas. Retarded looking Nappas. But that's this. And like I said again, guys, if you need any help, like for some reason it just doesn't want to work, just message me and I'll do it for sure. I will help you. What the fuck? Uh, let's put it today. That's a good thing about having too many items and oh my goodness. Yeah, when you first spawn, it's really annoying because uh, creative. you have to pretty much kill yourself in order to find the town because the town's right under uh, Tommy's lookout. So that's another thing you have to do is probably kill yourself right away or I can teleport you I can just do slash kill or I can just do that I forgot <clears throat> that works way better Respond. I was gonna do snake way one day I was in Super Saiyan 2 when I was doing it and it was pretty quick but then I fell off I started keep I kept going and then it turns out I was going the wrong way and made it back here. We'll revive and yeah, Tommy's lookout and then the town should be right under it. Oh, yeah. Kai jump. Kai jump. Yeah, on my last uh, place I had, I was gonna use for me and Evan for like just when he comes over and he can just connect to it like land parties and that. I spawned uh, Ender Dragons everywhere because with too many items you can get monster spawners, and they actually destroy destroyed Kami's lookout when they'd fly through it. They completely destroyed it, so that was sort of bad. And there's I think they're still flying around there, but I deleted it. But again, guys, if you need, if anything doesn't work for this mod for some reason for you, I will definitely help you the best I can. <coughs> and uh, yeah, you guys remember to leave a comment and like this video and subscribe to me if you're not. See ya! Hey guys, if you haven't checked out my last video, it's right down here. Click on it and remember to leave a like and comment on this video. And you can also check us out on Facebook and like our Facebook page. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Pilot Guy Gaming. He's a pretty cool guy. Check him out.